research is actually the cultural origins of the, of the information state or the world of information. I'm trying to understand not only the origins of that, but also how the dynamic works. Who the people were who were asking these kinds of questions, what kind of tools were they using. What interests me in these libraries is what we get, they're sites of what I call sedimentary knowledge. Um, it, what it means is that many of the libraries come together in both rational and irrational ways. So knowledge, let's say a radical philosopher might not meet with a churchman, but you can go to the library and find their books together. The library is going to be a funny place where they interact, and the librarian is often the middle person, the middleman between the radical and the conservative. Up until the 18th century, people really didn't build freestanding libraries. So the building of libraries um, is probably the first large-scale cultural building campaign that we've ever seen in the West. Libraries are going to be the place that you can go to to get information, as I've said, that you can't necessarily get by having a face-to-face -face conversation with someone. These libraries are not exactly like the web, but they're information centers. There's just one thing that they still have that the web doesn't have. They've got people in them. And those people are often, can bring you more than a search engine. They can connect you to someone. They can tell you a secret. So it's very, very important, not just the information bank, but the people who are in the information banks. It's not historically accurate to call this the, the, the birth of the search engine, but it's really interesting to see these catalogs go from books that are listed by the old topics of education, for example, theology, to books that are listed under topics, and then the topics expand to include, you know, um, from theology to mathematics to geography to history to industry to agriculture, okay? So they're going to expand the topics, but they're also going to make them alphabetical. They're going to make them usable. Libraries are going to be so important. As I said, they become central to the Enlightenment. We know that. The reason I'm writing this book is no one's pulled, tried to at least pull it all together. I'm not going to hit every library. I'm not going to be able to you know, uh, get everything in there. But I'm going to be give, give a sense of how they work during this key moment in human history. And what I'm finding is not only were they central to the Enlightenment, they're central to, for example, princes start thinking, I'm going to run my country, as I said, through a library. I'm going to build industries and castles and empires through good libraries. And I think what I have been finding recently, I've been looking at the library in a, in a kind of dead way. I've been really... I've made a historical error initially by looking at Google and Yahoo and then going back and looking at libraries. And what I've been finding is that's an error. What I, and I mentioned this earlier, what I've been finding is there are not just books and systems and catalogs and secret boxes and keys and back doorways, but there are people working through these libraries. And I'm beginning to see not only how important libraries are today, there are so many things that Google and these other things can't do. One of the ways that you... Um, can understand how knowledge works is to literally go in and see the library. I fear that things like Google, they're amazing, they're great, they're the dream that this guy, that these guys had of these great search engines. I'm worried that the three-dimensional picture isn't there. I'm also worried that libraries are getting forgotten now in this time of these search engines. They're trying to put everything on the web. That's fantastic, but you always behind the residue of the flash, you're going to need the library. You're going to need the physical books and the things that hold them all together, and the people who know about them.